Hey everyone, I got wind. This is my new wind turbine 1.8. Just got to put it up. And that's my new experiment. It's a vault. I'm going to hook a belt to that and then um, it's got loads and loads of torque. Kids are going crazy. But that's the new vault. See, the Amtec's not even spinning. And there's this little thing here. So that I'm going to hook up a belt to it. The wind is just dying. They see she doesn't stop spinning, which is wicked. I'm going to hook up a belt to that. That's just a... Uh, I'll get close to it. At the moment you, you see loads of uh, tape there, eventually all this will be ply. I'll put some ply along there and that will just work. This is, I uh, found this quite thick, it's about 12 mil. I've never seen this before, the blue pipe. And that's just, uh, yeah, basically, I don't know if you can see, this is from a, a washing machine. That's Legoland. Uh, and that's it. So that's the new one. The new wind turbine and that's the vault there at the top a fella showed me how to weld and this is my um well this is my furling tail <laughs> i'm hoping that all my welding sort of okay at the top i just put this here so the ac will go through there Just use a one of those gate gate things to hold it. So that'll just go on top of the of the of the scaffold tube. So that's that. That's the new one. And this is this one here. It doesn't stop spinning. I'm actually thinking of getting two of these and probably do it like I don't know. 1.6 or something high. I've got loads of this pipe left over. That's the Amtec. Just there by the shed, I've got loads of um, pipe left over. Right, what else? And I'm just going to show you quickly the belt that I'm thinking of using on that. That's, it's basically this. This thing here actually connects, sorry about the kids. So this thing here just goes on the washing machine and that's the belt. And then I, put, I might put the Amtec. I might just put the, the little Amtec on this, just because it's got no cogging. And just, you know, to see how it goes. Okay. There's the Amtec there. Hardly any wind today, so she's not spinning. Uh, actually, she heard us. I think she's going to start now. Oh, she's just turning. She's not doing anything. She's not charging or anything. And that's and that's about it. And uh, sorry about this. Just the kids are just driving nuts. And the the fellow from Scotland is called the Windmill Man. He's actually showed me how to do a bit of welding. And uh, everything seems to be holding anyway. I'm just hoping that my welding sort of is up to, is up to scratch. So in there, in the end, I'm just going to put like a tail. I'm going to put a bit of ply like I did there with that one there. And, uh, and that's it. And that's the furling tail. It sort of lifts as it comes around. Uh, you can't really see it but it basically it lifts as you can see that's it'll, it'll probably be somewhere oh, it'll be something like that i have to put a stop there so it stops and then it'll just go back there to track the wind again <coughs> and the easiest method i sort of found was to use this which is like a gate thing put it between two bricks smacked it in there so that that basically push push this out a little bit now I'm just going to put something here. There goes the Amtec. Kids are driving me nuts. So the Amtec. And 
then uh, that's my new one. I want to put it up, but with kids around here. Um, and also, like, I want to go over the welding. This is the, the tail arrangement. <laughs> Look at my welding. <laughs> it's probably the dodgiest thing you've ever seen. Hold on, buddy. And this is just, as usual, the office chair just works. Okay. Actually, this this is quite it's quite, it's quite powerful. Shush. It's quite powerful because uh, I've connected a 50 watt uh, halogen light to this thing, a 12 volt. I mean, and it, it starts. This is from the. It's big. Okay, everyone. Cheerio.